Most people know that magnesium is good for muscle cramping and muscle discomfort. But did you know that it can actually help you think better? Did you know it could help you sleep better? Did you know it could help you have more energy? Hmm. Very interesting. So what are my top recommendations for magnesium? So for those of you who did see my video yesterday, these were the ones that I listed off which ones not to take, not to touch with a 10 foot pole. Okay, go back and watch that if you missed that one. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Belinda and I'm very passionate about helping women recover from autoimmune problems, sleeping issues, thyroid issues, energy issues, hormonal imbalances, anxiety, and so, so much more. So yesterday when we were talking about magnesiums not to take and why, uh, I mentioned that I would list off someone's to take and which ones were best for what reason. Hi Kelly, how are you? As you come on, just let us know where you're coming in from. Okay, so which one should you take for good brain function? Well, my top pick for that one is magnesium threonate. Now, magnesium threonate actually increases synapsic density, which means it increases how much neurological activity happens in the brain, which means messages in the brain get passed along a lot quicker. Okay, and it is one of the ones that can actually cross the blood brain barrier because not all of them do. Okay, now if that is what you're after, um, helping better brain function, then that is a good choice. Now it is a little on the expensive side, but you do pay for good quality magnesium. Okay, the next one on the list is a good all round calming one, and that is uh, magnesium glycinate. Now, magnesium glycinate actually absorbs in its whole form, okay, and actually gets to where it's needed pretty quickly. So it's one of the ones that is absorbed into your system relatively quickly and can be utilized in its whole form, okay? And what it actually does, it calms the nervous system down, okay? So it actually helps you sleep because it has this sort of cooling sensation. So if you're having trouble sleeping at night, this might be a good one to look into for you because it cools your body down. Now, you know that when you go to sleep, you can't sleep when it's hot, right? You need to be cooled down a bit, okay? So this is what uh, magnesium glycinate can help you with. Now, what about energy? Which one is gonna be best for energy? Well, my top pick there is magnesium malate. Now, when I get to that two or three o'clock in the afternoon, and you know how you just, you feel like snack time and you need that little boost of energy just to get you through the day. That is kind of when I have this one, okay? Magnesium malate. And I really notice a difference when I'm having it on a daily basis, okay? It's, the absorption rate is a lot better as well, um, as well as um, compared to some of the cheaper ones, okay? Um, magnesium chloride is next on the list. Now, magnesium chloride, comes in several different forms. Uh, one that I recommend for clients is an oil that they put on their skin, okay? Or you can also get it in flakes, okay? And you can have it as a foot bath because a lot of the good minerals are absorbed through your feet. Well, when you, or you can put it in the bathtub as well. It's totally up to you. Uh, but this is a very good all round uh, magnesium. Now it actually gets to the brain within 12 to 15 minutes of using it as a foot bath, a foot rub. You know, you can use the oil on your feet or you can use the oil anywhere, really. Uh, that one's good also for muscle cramping as well. So that's probably the main one that people use for muscle cramping, okay? Because you can really target where you put it, okay? Another one which I absolutely love and use daily, and it's not a specific magnesium. It is a sea mineral. Now, the magnesium content is extremely high, but it also has other minerals in it, which will help you with adrenal fatigue, okay? This is one that I recommend for adrenal fatigue and uh, sleeping issues as well, okay? And it's, it's absorbed into the system and it will help your adrenals recover because it also has potassium, Okay, and this is one that I recommend clients uh, use for a starter as well. So in all of these, the cheaper, more readily available ones are going to be magnesium chloride, 
okay? And the C minerals as well. So what should you look for when buying a magnesium? Something that has come up in uh, relatively in the last few days, but it seems to be very, very common, is magnesium powders to mix into water. Now, when you're buying a magnesium, I want you to make sure that it is pretty much 100% magnesium, particularly the oil and the chloride, okay? And hasn't got any nasties in it because a lot of companies like to add extra things to our supplements. It doesn't matter which supplements. They like to add different things to our food as well. So you have to be a detective, a sleuth. You have to actually pick up the packet, read the ingredients, and decide whether it has things in it that are good for you or whether it has things in it that are bad for you. Now, something that I have noticed uh, is that a lot of powdered magnesiums actually have ascorbic acid in it. Now, you're probably thinking, well, ascorbic acid is vitamin C, isn't it? Well, no, it's not really. It is kind of the outside of vitamin C and it's not a whole form. And it actually has uh, detrimental it can actually be detrimental to your health and can actually exacerbate uh, symptoms that you are already having. So I want you to make sure that whenever you pick up a supplement of any description, including magnesium, to make sure it doesn't have ascorbic acid in it, okay? A lot of the citrus flavored ones will have ascorbic acid or even citrate, citric acid, okay? So just make sure that it does not have ascorbic acid in it okay that's tip number one anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you have someone or you yourself who has um, sleeping issues or energy issues or cognitive issues then consider sharing this video with them so that we can help many others anyway if you're watching live then let us know live hi Vicky how are you and if you're catching this on the replay then let us know and say replay Anyway, I'm going to head over to the group now. So if you wish to follow me, you are more than welcome. I'll see you there. Bye.